guys, it's Jessica, and today I am going to share with you a recent Dollar Tree haul. I have done three of these on my channel so far, and it's all just Dollar Tree um, makeup products that I found, and they're usually like Milani, um, Physicians Formula, Maybelline, there's just like all kinds of drugstore brands where some of the products are like eight, nine, ten dollars originally priced, and they're of course a dollar at the Dollar Tree because everything there is a dollar. The only downside is it's so hit or miss. So like you might go one week and there's like nothing. And then a week later, or two weeks later, they got, you know, some sort of shipment in of just a ton of stuff, you know, so it really is hit or miss. But what I found is that a lot of you guys that have seen my Dollar Tree videos have been able to find a lot of the products I show. So I think they do kind of divvy it up nationwide. So a lot of the Dollar Trees really do have a lot of the same products. So from what I understand, a lot of the makeup at the Dollar Tree is maybe discontinued or the shade was discontinued, um, you know, whatever it is, but I have never gotten anything from there that's been expired or, you know, weird smelling or anything like that. Not yet anyway, not to say that that doesn't happen because I don't know, but I will say I haven't had a bad experience with the makeup that I've gotten. So that is one thing to keep in mind. Anyway, enough blabbering. Let's go ahead and get into what I got. Okay, so I've got my little bag full. I got a lot of lip products this time, but I was really excited. But let's start with some of the other products first. So this I found, this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo Pure Pigments 24 hour, I guess it's like a, a loose shadow and it's in the shade Buff and Tough. So let's open this and see. I remember having, I might've even had this shade in the past. Sorry, I've got like lipstick all over my hand. I've had this shade in the past, I think, and I got rid of it um, one of the many times I decluttered, but I wanted to see because it looks like a really pretty color, and I figure, eh, for a dollar, we're going to try it, so let me peel this off without getting it everywhere. There we go. Um, so it looks like, let me kind of get some into the lid here, it's certainly like a bronzy golden loose powder. So I got a little bit, let's see. Oh, it's definitely glittery. Oh, it's like really glittery. Like me, it's like only glitter. I don't know. <laughs> I am just foreseeing this having so much fallout unless you use an amazing, amazing um, primer that's meant for glitter. I mean, it is beautiful though. I'm like really beautiful, but it's mostly glitter. So keep that in mind. If you know you don't like that or you're scared that there'd be fallout, um, maybe stay away. But this was the only shade I saw there. I would bet they have other ones out and about. Um, but it's nice, but something to keep in mind. Okay, next thing, I hadn't seen this, and I was like, how old is this? But um, this is the L'Oreal Paris Shimmer of Hope All Over Loose Powder, and I was so intrigued because I thought, I've never seen this in stores, so like, is it so old, or maybe, I don't know. I had a million questions, but let's go ahead and open it. I think it's like a highlighting powder, but it says all over, and I'm like, mm, I don't know if you want all over shimmer powder. Some people might. Yeah, it's definitely shimmery, and it's kind of a similar color to that other one. This would be beautiful if you have a deeper skin tone as like a beautiful golden highlight. I might try it regardless, but um, it is a little deeper than I would typically get, but it comes with a ton. So if you find it, I mean, give it a try, because if this is, I mean, it's kind of like a rose gold highlighter in a way. Man, nah, more bronzy gold. Really pretty, so that's, that was an interesting find. I also found this e.l.f. product, which that's not surprising, because e.l.f., a lot of their products are a dollar anyway, um, but this is their mineral eyeshadow primer, and I think their mineral products can range to be a little more expensive. So I wanted to try it, and it's just in kind of their classic packaging for their eye primers. It's a doe foot applicator, um, and it's just kind of this beige color. Let's see. Yeah, and it just kind of blends in. It has kind of that silicone feel to it in a way. Not, not totally, though. It has a nice feel to it. So I will definitely try this out and let you go because I'm pretty sure this is still a product they're selling. Um, it just happened to be there that time. So awesome. Now into, I got a ton of Milani lip products. I'm so excited. Let me roll up my sleeves, pull my hair out of my face. So I got two of their Power Lip things. Now this is so funny because I was, um, I had checked my peel box and I was opening some of some things that subscribers sent and one of my subscribers sent me some of these and I laughed because I thought, oh my gosh, I just got some of them. So that was kind of cool. So this one's in the shade Creamy Cafe 
I am so excited. Now, what are the claims on this? It says it's a two-in-one gloss and stain. It's a twist pen with a built-in brush. I'm so intrigued, but I love, what, did it, what was it called again? Creamy Cafe. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's like a short little chunky thing, and it's got a little lip brush, so you twist it until, this is making me think of like the Stila lip glazes where you twist it up into the brush. I don't love that uh, format. This kind of looks like what I'm wearing on my lips today. Oh my, 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 my. Oh my gosh, I got way too much out. It's like half the thing. It looks a lot like what I'm wearing today. You know what this reminds me of? Which I am wearing today. The Stila, I have it out because I was just talking about it in another video I filmed. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina. Oh my gosh. Which is one of my favorite products. I, it dries to like this matte look, I love it. But this is like over $20, so this is the Stila Patina one. And this is this Milani Creamy Cafe one. They are so similar, both the consistency, but the Stila one will dry matte, this one I don't think will, and this one's a little bit warmer, like, you know, not as pinkish as the Patina, but these are both so beautiful, oh my gosh. This is, I was wondering if it had like a scent or anything, so that's pretty cool. Let's open the other shade, now I'm really excited. This one's in Raspberry Tart, and it, I, this is the one I was super excited to get. Now I'm gonna be careful, I'm gonna watch myself actually screw it up. Not screw it up, I mean literally screw it up. What? Okay, okay, there we go. Aha, this one just looks like a deeper version of Patina. Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. How have I never heard of these? Actually, it looks a lot like Patina. Well, so again, beautiful. These are so pigmented. There's not really a smell that I can smell, but um, I cannot believe these have been around and I haven't known about them. Like, I'm kind of mad. This is an amazing, now I want to go back and see if they have any other shades. Because, what? Okay, so the next thing, I got three of their Lip Intense Liquid Colors. So, let's see. This one is in the shade Red Extreme. So, the packaging, as usual for Milani, is beautiful. But it's a twist up, is it a doe foot? Yes, it is a doe foot one. Let me get like one more good. Okay, so these are super opaque. And a thin layer is, I mean, so opaque. And it looks like it's kind of more of a matte finish. So again, it reminds me of the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. This is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to open the other two. Let's do it. So the next one's like this purplish one and it's in the shade Violet Addict. This might be one of my best trips there because I didn't get as much as I always do, but the things I did get there are, I mean, unbelievable. Oh wow, this, is, okay, so this truly is like a bright, I'm trying to get a big enough swatch for you to see, bright purple, you know? Oh man, it's so pretty. Now this one's not as opaque right off the bat. I mean, it's still pretty opaque, but you can see through a little bit. So let's try another layer like on top and see if that, yeah, that kind of helped. It's a really pretty color, but it might be too bright for me like in real life, but you know, in my fake life on YouTube, no, I'm kidding. But uh, really though, when I'm filming, this would be, I think a good color. I would certainly try it out, but very cool. And the last shade is Fiery Coral. I don't wear a lot of corals on my lips, and I don't really know why. I don't, I don't think I look bad bad, but I don't always love the way I look. So we'll see about this one. Wow, these really are intense, as they say. This is almost like neon in person. I, it never comes across and say, oh yeah, it does. Yeah, that's like neon coral. That's pretty incredible though, and if you know you like bold lips, then you would love any of these. I wonder if they had any, any other shades of this as well, because I would love a more neutral shade, but that's still really pigmented like these are. This is amazing. These, huh, these power lip ones are, I think I like these even more. Ah, see, I can't decide, because I like that these are more satiny matte, but I love the color payoff on those and the shades. So, 
That was everything I got at the Dollar Tree this time around. I'll link my Dollar Tree Hauls playlist below if you want to catch my other ones that I've recently done because a lot of those things are still, I'm still seeing them in the Dollar Tree so there's a chance you might find them as well. Let me know what awesome finds you have found at the Dollar Tree lately because I'm going to go scout some other ones around my town to see what else is out there. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.